Mega thread, Ukraine current events. Do not share photos, videos, or any media showing the location of Ukrainian military. Edit, thank you everyone for all of the awards and constructive comments. Please stop giving me awards and donate to help the people impacted by this bullshit instead. This mega thread has a lot of good resources for people in slash around the conflict who need help or need information. Look at some of the top comments and listen to people who are much smarter than me. To all the people who have decided they want to say mean shit and ignore this request from Ukrainian leadership, eat my whole ass. We're all aware of satellites and modern military tech. Fuck off. You're not clever, you're problematic. They asked us to not share shit for a reason. I'll just trust that the people being attacked have a better grasp on this than I do. As a Russian who currently doesn't live in Russia and despises all of Putin slash Russian government's military actions, I am highly concerned about the well-being of the Ukrainian civilians who will get hurt if the situation escalated any further. At this point, I think Russia should get rid of Putin and the corrupt members of the government once and for all. Let's all hope the best for Ukraine and its civilians. 1992 asterisk Ukraine holds about one-third of the Soviet nuclear arsenal, the third largest in the world at the time, as well as significant means of its design and production. 1994 asterisk Ukraine agrees to dissolve the entire nuclear arsenal in exchange for safety guarantees from Russia, USA and the UK, becoming only nation in the history to willingly give up nukes. 2022 asterisk they are fucked and nobody wants to intervene because Russia got nukes it's such a bitter and terrible thing to learn. No country will ever give up nukes again. I just saw that the Pakistani Prime Minister landed in Moscow, I am an Indian and this is starting worry me. No Russia put it back it's not yours. Fuck Putin, all my homies hate Putin. A mega thread was definitely needed for this. Good call, mods. Hashtag I stand with Ukraine. In preparation of nuclear apocalypse, I am cramming as many bottle caps into my rectum as possible. I'm gonna be so rich in a few days, you jokes have no clue. Edit, I'm sorry if you've seen this message, but I need to address that to as many of you as possible. Don't just be angry at forums, it's useless, we know and really appreciate your support, but you can do more than that I'm not asking you to fight for us on our land, but you can make much more damage to them please, ask your government and authorities to make more damage to Russia's economic. Small sanctions not enough, show Russia that they made big mistake. Show them that this type of aggression will not go unpunished. We're gonna defend ourselves without a doubt, we're here standing not for ourselves, but for whole Europe peace from Ukraine Red Heart. How am I even supposed to sleep at night with all the crap going on in the world? I'm curious for citizens of Western countries. What line would Russia need to cross for you to support a military response against Russia? I ask this as I'm not sure myself where I land, but I feel like I'm close. Admittedly, I'm pretty angry and an emotional response to provoke all-out war is not wise. But there's got to be a line, otherwise they'll just keep pushing forward at it. To clarify my question as I've had a few responses on what they think is the line where a response likely would happen, but my question is more where is your line where you would support military response as a citizen? Hypothetical, Jake Paul challenges Putin to a boxing match, winner takes Ukraine, with no bloodshed. Do you hope Putin accepts? As an American, I wonder if this is what it was like for the rest of the world watching us invade Iraq. What are the similarities and what are the differences? For those that thought Putin wouldn't go this far in 2022, what else wouldn't surprise you now about any possible wars moving forward? Russia is arresting anti-war protesters in Moscow live on CNN right now. Fuck Russia, Putin, fuck the oligarchs, fuck his followers, fuck the trolls on Reddit. Can someone explain to me, objectively, why the invasion of Ukraine isn't serious enough for Russia to be cut off from SWIFT. Could Jeff Bezos not just buy Russia and call back the troops? My close friends have a child with leukemia, just turned six. 
The family have been saving for a bone marrow transplant treatment in Israel, which they were hoping to do in the coming months. With the war right now the boy is in a bomb bunker in the children's hospital and has been bleeding. His doctors don't think he will make it very long without being transported to another hospital. I am reaching out here because I literally have no idea how to help. Are there resources for AA medical evacuation? Who do we reach out to? What does Putin gain by taking over Ukraine? What will happen at Chernobyl? It is in an active war zone now, God knows what will happen if a missile hit the container of the original plant, to be honest the containment zone, since the radiation value is possible for passing through, will probably be a route for a surprise attack, and if either side decides to fight inside the zone, I really don't want to know how insane the Russian are and how desperate the Ukrainian are, will the site be safe? How does Putin or any dictator make their soldiers believe they're doing the right thing? I don't understand what Russia's ultimate goal is. Do they want to expand to the Baltic states after Ukraine? Or are they just still mad Ukraine ever became independent in the first place? Why are Americans blaming Trump slash Biden for the war? Shouldn't we be a little more concerned with being mad at Putin instead of finding another way to make it about slash divide us? Dear Eastern Europeans in America, if you shop at any European food stores or markets, you can support Ukrainians by simply buying products made in Ukraine and avoiding the ones shipped from Russia. If there is an ethnic store near you that is a small Ukrainian business, shop there instead of a larger Russian store. Ukrainian-made goods start with 482 on the barcode in addition to a typical made-in-Ukraine statement. This may seem like a small thing, but when individual Ukrainians boycotted Russian goods this way, the entire supply chain had to diversify in the country, and Russian business cited huge losses. Don't give them your dollars. A lot of the Russian government websites are down. Wonder if it's by internal design or external sabotage. Is there any news website that publishes pure war data? No talks, no BS, no opinions, just data. Where were strikes, where are tanks, where are explosions, how many people, etc. Can someone just fucking shoot Putin already? This man is like a weird version of Hitler and needs to be stopped before dirty bombs start falling. My sister is in the process of adopting a boy from Ukraine. They've had him visit the US twice. Last time they took him to Disney World. He's 12 and says she is the best mom in the world. They tried to get emergency visas to get some of the kids out of the orphanage, but Ukraine said no. His orphanage is in eastern Ukraine. I don't know why I am posting this. Just so sad and scared for the people of Ukraine and knowing that others are affected and scared to death. It's a nightmare. Thank you.